Paranormal Radio is online. Welcome to the Pyrolytical Radio Show channel. Today we're going to talk about something that has the pundits, political establishment, everybody up in an uproar and debate. <laughs> and including many Americans. I don't know if you've had this experience typing online Facebook thread that goes for 5,000 miles about health care. John Stewart of The Daily Show made a very funny video about how inept the government is that their website wouldn't work. The White House is ongoing struggle to fix their beleaguered health care website. Here it is, smiling lady. Although I'm not sure the new homepage is an improvement. I think that's... Uh... It's but, fun to point out the ineptitude of government, but the fact is there's so much more to this debate, and we get lost in what Sweden's health care is, or England, or Canada, exchanges, death panels, all this stuff, but you don't get anywhere. Broken website, or we're going to talk about how Obama lied, or we're going to talk about how the marketing was awful, or this is broken, or that's broken. Well, while Republicans are out there hacking at all that stuff Randall said, is we need to get to the fundamental. What, what are the principles underlying a discussion on government-provided health care? As you will see, we have this meme that we've created where we've drawn a tree. Now, you're going to see at the top, Obamacare is the leads. That's where most people are focused on. And What's, hacking. It's the biggest part. Yeah, That's absolutely. the focus. That is the latest manifestation. But if you look at the history of government health care, it's been going for over 100 years. It started with the unions. The corporations got in, in bed with the government, started offering it to their employees. And it's been a map. Fundamentally, the principle is, if we look at the moral agency of man, I have no right to force you to pay for my health care. And if government is forced, which it is, that's right. That I is, have no that right. Very core. At its very core, it's force. It's, it's a, a gun. gun. That was good. So the fundamental is that if government's a gun, you can't use a gun to do something, or at least justfully use a gun to do something you can't do as an individual. I can't go over to Randall's house, hold a gun, and say, hey, pay for my health care. Right. I appreciate your charity. <laughs> anyway, so the fundamental is that you can't use government to provide health care because you don't have a right to it as an individual. As we move up this trunk, you're looking at our graphic here, as we move up the trunk, moral agency is at the base of the tree. It's the foundation. Next we move into Roots. constitutionality. Now how do you view the constitutionality of Medicare, Medicaid, Obamacare, whatever, Randall? Well, the core of the constitutionality changed in 1936 with the Butler case. Because originally, the general welfare was viewed by the founders as being that which would suit everyone equally, generally, across the board. It would affect everyone in an equal manner. But then in the Butler case, they changed the definition to say that general welfare was whatever the government said was good for the people. That changed or shifted the constitutionality of such welfare. Also, if we go back to the moral agency of man having no right to force another person to give you health care or pay for it, then that undergirds that constitutional argument. Let's move to the next part of our tree. Now that we've established the trunk and the roots, now let's talk about the main branches. Health care officially from the federal government has been around for decades. It started in 1965. What you're seeing here is Lyndon Johnson and Harry S. Truman signing the Medicare Act Johnson into law. Care. Now Truman couldn't get this passed. He tried for a long time. In fact, politicians prior to him tried to get health care into place. They couldn't do it. But in 1965, the Great Society helped to spur, and this is a major portion of it, is turning over the health care industry into the hands of government, all under the guise of helping the poor and the needy. But the fact is, it has grown into the leaves that we're hacking at now. Alone care. care. The Republicans, they, they're in this hypocritical state where they've been voting for extensions of Medicare and Medicaid for years. I mean, even Mitt Romney and Obama's rhetoric were identical. President Bush championed Medicare Part B. There we which go. Is estimated to be trillions more than what was told to the American people and Congress passed. So the point is, rather than hacking at the leaves, we should be talking about, discussing, debating the core principles, the constitutionality surrounding legislation like this. That's where the power is. But Republicans and pundits and wherever else, they're, they're getting on the bandwagon and just saying, Oh, look, the website's awful. Yeah, it's awful. It doesn't change anything. But you're missing the forest for the tree. We hack at these leaves as conservatives, 
tea party or whatever we want to call ourselves. But the, until we reject the core premise, until we root out the fundamental flaw that we have when we look at government. Cut the tree down and burn it to the root. We may be able to defeat Obamacare. Get rid of it! Until next year when it's the Republicans' plan to give health care for everybody. Right? Until we as Americans fundamentally reject government anything related to health care, these types of things will grow. Implementation of Obamacare. Indeed he is. And this is what he's been saying. Let's watch. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like the insurance plan you have now, you can keep it. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. So if you like... Brought to you by Strongbrook. Real estate done for you. Experience, but it's the... The website doesn't work! Really? Death panels. You brought back the death panels. I did. I Single-handed. I love death panels. Did the we script that? I don't, we didn't. No. That so, was unscripted. Like mine's... But all that's right. just leaves on yeah. the tree of destiny. <laughs> Our government healthcare arena. Okay, start over. <laughs>